Well hello again everyone, it's a very sunny Tuesday and I'm back on the motorhome shower room. And of course we've had the announcement today that we can go camping again after the 4th of July. So there's an added incentive to crack on with this and get it done ready. Well the first thing to do I think is to fit the bottom grill on here just to check that that fits and that all looks okay. Well there we go, that didn't turn out too bad at all. In fact, uh, that's exactly as I planned, isn't it? Well the next thing I'm going to try is, you can see this corner here is not really proper. It's not the proper job, is it, with that wiggle in it. We have a job to trim around that. So I'm going to get the hot air gun again. I'm going to heat that up yet again and see if I can push that flat to give us a much better edge to trim up against. Well, I think that's a lot better. We should be able to uh, trim into that a lot better. We won't have any big gaps to fill with silicon, which will look horrible. So I think the next thing to do is to cut some of that edging trim with edge along the top flat bit and down there and we'll also edge the bottom of the shower tray up to where that silicon bead you can still see the remains of silicon bead fortunately so i know that's where the front of the toilet is so i can cut edged bits there and i think then the panel will have enough bow in it that it can just pop out and pop in i'm thinking and of course, we don't need to edge around any of that because my plan is to go beyond the bead and uh, then the toilet should sit in there. Um, and if necessary, we've got a little bit of room to play with here because uh, we can cut that edging down. Right, let's crack on and cut a bit to go in there. I'm going to call that 680 mil because that gives me my two mil either end for expansion. Now I've been thinking about it and I'm also going to allow the distance for that cove. So about to there off the end because I think it would be better if this cove come right down to the shower tray and then that edge trim, trim come along there because to do it the other way around gives an awkward sort of hole there where that cove comes down onto the top of the edge trim it does that make sense it sort of made sense to me it might not make sense to you but uh, perhaps you'll see what i mean as i go along so i'm going to measure that distance from that edge of that cove back to there and then take that off the distance i've already measured so hopefully you can see that it's pretty much 10 mil so that means cutting that edge trim to 670 mil they do recommend mechanical fixings as well as glue for the edges so i've got these tiddly screws Well here I'm measuring up for that panel to go on that side wall and these are the measurements here that I've taken. Now this panel is the most complicated one I think. 
obviously we've got to trim around that hatch for the toilet and we've also got the back wall of the van which slopes slightly and we've also got the vent to position which in actual fact I didn't really get quite right. Well, I'm hoping that this bit is going to be the trickiest bit to cut out because it's a right old game. I've now just got to measure the position of that vent and mark that out on the sheet. Yeah, so there's my measurements to position that. You'll also notice I've had to take the screws out of that trim. It's just impossible to get the uh, sheet in with those screws in. So I guess I'll use the screws just to hold the trims in place, then remove them before I actually fix the sheet. It's just uh, impossible to get the sheet past the screw heads when you're trying to manoeuvre it into place. Oh, right, now to mark out the hole and cut that out. Right, well as you might have seen, I've cleaned down the back of it so it should stick and I've peeled back the film where it's going to go into those trims and I'm going to take the screws out of those top trims I'm going to put the adhesive on the wall rather than on the board so I'm not fighting a big sticky board trying to get it on there and uh, I'm going to try and stick it on. Well, there we go, it's in look. This uh, joint up here is a little bit wibbly wobbly, but we will put a bead of silicon along there. So that will seal that up quite nicely, I think. But you'll never believe it when I show you the bottom what I managed to do again. Now, look at that hole for the vent. I've completely got it wrong again. I mean, it's all right this side, but that side I way overshot. I don't know what's wrong with me on this project. My only excuse perhaps is it is absolutely boiling hot and I was getting rather hot and flustered and frustrated with the whole flipping thing. Anyway, we're gonna have to pull the same sort of trick there as we did around the roof vent, I think. However, I'm not gonna attempt that now because it's getting quite late and I'll probably just make some other mistake. So I'll pack away again and we'll perhaps regroup tomorrow. Oh, well, it's uh, Wednesday today. Oh, microlite going over. Look. Now that would be fun, wouldn't it? Always fancied a go at that. I had a go at hang gliding when I was much younger and very much enjoyed that. But uh, having a go in a microlite would be pretty good. Anyway, enough of that. Back to the matter in hand absolutely scorching today it's been uh, boiling all day and uh, I think I was making those mistakes yesterday and the other day because I was just too hot and bothered so I'm going to take it a bit steadier today but the first thing to do is to make up a surround a similar way I did for the ceiling vent for that wall vent that I cocked up a bit Well, I reckon we'll do the window wall next, Ginge, do you reckon? Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an edge trim along the top here. And remember, I'm leaving 10 mil each side now to allow for that coving trim. 
Well, there we go. There's that edge trim up and stuck in position. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Alex, you idiot, you've not stuck it on properly. You've got a massive gap this end. And uh, indeed, you'd be right. But uh, that's because this bend was a little bit crude. and It didn't quite come out entirely right. So the bottom of this board isn't level. But to make life a little bit easier for me, I've stuck in the trim level. And in true craftsman-like fashion, I'll be relying on the bead of silicon to fill that gap. Lovely. Well, it's actually getting quite late again now. And because I think fitting this window sheet is probably going to be best done with the window removed. And that's going to be a little bit of a faff. So I don't really want to start that now. So I'm probably going to pack away now and maybe tackle that another time but before i go i just wanted to mention what a lot of people have suggested about cutting a groove in the wall to sort of chase those wires in almost and whilst i think that's probably a good idea i think it would only be worth doing if i could also chase in the pipes the hot and cold pipes which need to come up to the basin and the problem with that really is the thickness of the wall. Now you can see here perhaps, I, I can't even get my finger in there. That's the whole thickness of the of the wall. So to, to chase a 15 mil pipe in there would mean removing almost everything, I think, apart from the back skin. And because I've got to go at least halfway up, I think that would perhaps remove some of the rigidity of the wall, which... I don't really want to do so given I'm how going to have to run the pipes up here I may as well run the wires as well and I'm thinking what I might do with that is put it in some fairly large electrical trunking I'm not sure how these came originally it looks as if there might have been something sealed along there like a pedestal so maybe it all ran up in there originally I don't know if you've got one of these vans Eldest Auto Quest 270 with the original bathroom installation unfiddled with. It'd be interesting to see what goes on down here. Anyway, as I say, that's me for tonight. I don't want to uh, risk working on much later and making more stupid mistakes. So better to take my time and try at least and get it right. And it is far, far too hot out here to be doing this sort of malarkey. There's a... Uh paramotor up there now look what do you reckon to that boy you can't catch it mate well that's all for now if you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new